Hi, this is Rene at WWDC 2010 for the iPhone blog, and I am with Boyd Timothy from Apago, talking about Apago for the iPad. So this is, uh, this is to do for the iPad, and we were really excited to bring to do to the iPad because uh, it's obviously a bigger device, and the thing that we focus most on is, is bringing a, an interface that users could feel at home with. So we went with the, the whole paradigm of, of a day planner type idea, and it's turned out to be very successful and people love to use it because it, it actually feels like a big planner in your hand. It looks hand. like you're holding one of those old moleskins. It's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it and it feels nice. You know, it's it's got uh, you know your things to do on the. It's got your lists on the left. It's got your tasks on the right, and uh, it's a really good use of space. You know, you're not seeing a huge task list that's just text, but you've got this nice piece of paper, the nice binder around things, and it's the you know if, if you used to do on the iPhone, this is very similar. Um, the differences are is that you know your lists are shown here over on the left. You can still customize and add new lists, just like you could on the iPhone. Uh, you get, you know, you can switch between all the different lists, and and on the right in your paper, it, it immediately changes to what you're looking at. So a couple of the nice things. Um, here's a project, and when you change that, the whole page flips over. So it's it's very realistic feel. You're isolated in this in this project now and can focus on just the things that are in the project. And when you're done, you tap over here on the left, and you're back to your to your normal list. It's a very organic kind of feel, like the iPad apps are in general. Yeah, definitely. There, there's one thing that we did that you know a lot of apps. Let's go into portrait mode. You know, a lot of apps use the the split view controller, yeah. where you, you usually press a button here and you get a, a drop down. Yeah. Well, we wanted to still stay in our look and feel of the whole binder look, and so we've got this little button here, and and that whole divider flips right over. You can switch to a different list, and that it, it flips out of the way. Um, and even if even if you're here and you you flip back to landscape mode, and then it flips right back. So we spent a lot of time making things that were, you know, that would mimic the real world, and and it's it feels fun, and yeah. and, and it's and, and it it's, feels right. Yeah, it feel it feels like it's it should. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun building this, and and users have been very very responsive of of, of liking it as well. And how how do you find your usage differs between the iPhone and the like? For me, the iPhone is about quick mobile data entry, and the iPad version is more about what did I get done or not get done during the day, and re figuring out like sitting back and figuring out what I what I have to accomplish still. Right. Well, uh, I don't I don't obviously carry this thing around <laughs> with me all day. So during the day, I'll find that I used to do on my iPhone a lot, and and at home uh, or in the office. You know, it's more fun to pick this up because yeah. it's nice and big. Um, we, we joke around sometimes when we call our iPhones the, the iPad Nano now. <laughs> and, we, and it's sometimes frustrating to use the iPhone because it's so small. And, and, and this is like the iPhone iMax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a lot of fun. It's just, it's bigger, it's easy to use. Um, it's that whole emotional tie. It, it just feels more normal to, to, to use it here and you get a better picture because there's more real estate. So. This is, Apago, this is Apago to do for the iPad, and I'm guessing you guys aren't standing still, so we will hear more about this in the future. We've got a lot of fun things coming, and uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're about to make a, a new update, which, which should be a lot of fun for people, and uh, we've been really excited to show, show the new things, but uh, yeah, keep, keep watching the App Store. Absolutely, and we will, we will notify you when it is, when it is available, too. Uh, sure. And before we let you go, we also have Calvin here. I'm right. going to ask you guys what you think about the new iPhone and iO the new iOS. Uh, well, you know, obviously we've had access uh, through the developer program for a little while on the iO on iOS four, so it's we're really excited. We've got some neat things coming on the iPhone. Uh, you know, the the iPad was a, was a lot of a lot of fun to work on, but we've also been busy working on the iPhone version, so. There'll be some neat things that we won't quite reveal here, but uh, it might be four times the artwork. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really like the way they. You know, one thing Apple really does well with their products is they make sure that uh, compatibility works well, but yet still move things forward. You know, they, you, you get a lot of new features, but you'll be able to use your applications. And from a developer point of view, we're we're just thrilled. We. Uh, and, and as far as the device, I can't wait to get one. I mean, <laughs> wow. So you're, really you're both going to upgrade? Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> For testing purposes only, oh, yes, right? <laughs> of course. For the purpose of uh, being in the industry uh, or, or actually developing on them, we got to have one. Yeah, absolutely. 
Well guys, thank you so much again. This is Calvin and Boyd from Apago and we were talking about to do for the iPad and perhaps a future iPhone 8, iPhone 4 version. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Renee. Thank Thanks. you.